So we're here, guys. You know, getting the ivy done. And luckily, I came. They say that I'm totally dehydrated. So I want to thank you, Instagram. Thank you, RT, for making sure that I get my IV today. Yeah, these things are very costly. But if I don't do my IV, I could die. Yeah, could die from dehydration. So, so far, you know, they have pierced me and they're about to hook me up. Because when you do this surgery, you don't get to drink enough water. And you know you're supposed to drink like six to eight glasses of water daily. And I can't even properly drink one. So, that's what's up. Where's RT? I see your video going viral. Mm-hmm. Did you get your money's worth, darling? Yeah. Me and RT, cool. But I'm about to ban him. If you ever come back on my page and address these guys looking you, I don't really care. You won't be allowed back on my page, manager or not. I think it's rather distasteful. But, but other than that, you're a wonderful co-host. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, if I don't give trouble, it's not Amari. So, RT, the rule is from now on, I don't want to hear about nobody who have interest in your ass. I don't care. <laughs> okay? And as long as you stick to that rule, we got a good thing going on. I went on your page, darling, and I see you got some bitches on your page. Ass look fake. And trying to use them to promote ban ban. And nobody cares. You had like one, two, three, four, five the most likes. Because nobody cares. And then I see you post me. And my goody, goody body. I'm so proud of it. I love my body so much that right now I'm going to care about. Oh, what may I have again? Spider webs. Flabs. I don't care about nothing. May I show off this body upon line. Because at least it bring in money. For help me to complete the journey. So the half tattoo, you go on RT page. What's the name of the page, Desi? RT Boss Official. Uh, no. Is it? RT Boss Official? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess he talked to me from another page. But if you go on the page, you know, you'll see me there. And I love that body. If you want to comment and give it me, I don't care. I love my body body. RT say I got a dolly body. I am officially a Mar DJ Mona Lisa. Now again. Veteran. Veteran dolly. Mm-hmm. It's nice to open up with RT and I come and get the Jamaican words. May I get back the Jamaican vibes. And I'm going to bring me to check out the Jamaican parties. I'm also getting my IV because I'm about to travel to Jamaica. RT do keep his promises. And I watch that. I notice that he's a man of his word. So, so far, so good. I'd like to go to Jamaica and I'd like to record some songs. And I'd, I will be more than happy if you bring me to the ghetto to visit the children. I was coming just now and I started to cry because I really want to see the children of Jamaica more than anything else. You know, and... um. I want to have my own sting in Jamaica. I'd like to be in Jamaica at the same time sting is going on. And if possible, do a show on the same night. Because I really want to teach them a lesson. I, that, please, RT, if we could have a show going on the 23rd. You understand? And let it just take over the entire internet. That would be so wonderful because I just posted the video in regards to how they treated me on Sting. And that's just a part of the video. You wouldn't want to see the rest. As a matter of fact, I don't think Instagram would allow me to post that video. You know, because um, it, it's a lot of violence in regards to it. Little Mari, these big heavy men, you know, they were just pounding on me. And some people think that it's reasonable for them to pound on me because they feel like I came to sting and didn't act appropriately. But I hope you eventually understand, you know, 
everything about life. You don't treat an artist like that, you know, just because she's by herself. You never treat an artist or treat anyone that way. I don't want to touch down on the topic of, you know, men treating women that badly in Jamaica. I don't want to touch down on it yet, but I guess everything happened to me for a reason. But I bet you if it was um, not a fellow Jamaican artist, they would not have treated that individual like that. But like I told you, um, you know, I was a part of Gaza. And after I fell out with Sika, you know, um, I knew that certain things would happen to me. I'm lucky to come back from Jamaica alive, you know, and I still believe that they still want me dead, you know, because um, I've seen where um, a lot of people that were members of Gaza, a lot of artists, when they go against them, even a lot of females, there's a video on YouTube, they get beaten up like man. Big lick, kick, everything, you know, in dark alleys and so on. You know, I want to bring an awareness to it. One day I'm going to play the video here. But I don't blame the entire thing on Gaza. I blame it on um, the people um, of Sting. Because, believe it or not, the security guards are owned by, um, by Lang. I believe he has a security guard company. Those are his people. And it doesn't take a lot. You know, I'm not about money. All I really need is an apology and an awareness for them not to ignore it. And um, please tag Leng so that he may see it, you know, an awareness of how these artists, how I am treated. I can't speak for everyone, although I represent everyone. I'd like to bring an awareness to it. Trust me, these female artists go through a lot. Macadam and, and all these artists. Macadam is, is a veteran. She'll let you know she goes through a lot. You know, um, they sex off the beautiful artists in the reggae industry. And, um, you know, the thing about Amari, um, I have to, I have to make it big. Because I've been saying things for a long time and no one seemed to be hearing me. Because even my story in regards to being kidnapped at Tough Gong Studio is being totally ignored. You know, I just don't understand how a little girl went to Tough Gong Studio, which is Bob Marley Studio. I went there to make my dream come true. And I just don't understand how it's not being picked up by any media sources in regards to um, them kidnapping me for one year. One year, a little girl raping me continuously and refusing to allow me and refusing to allow me to go home you know and i don't know what's going on in jamaica you know some people don't just want to talk about other people because they feel like they're too big but recently in america no matter how big you are you know people are speaking out and people need to speak out in jamaica when I was kidnapped at um, Tough Gong Studio, I was only about um, 12 years old. And, you know, it's sad. I didn't get to go to school, you know, and my grandma didn't know where I was. You know, um, the police didn't try to find me or anything. And, you know, I really, really... I keep saying I want to be dancehall queen, but I think what I really want to be is the voice for many people that are going through a lot. Yeah. Let's not make this boring. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not, there's a time and a place for everything, but I'm waiting for my drip and the drip will also um, help me to travel. Let's see if RT is serious about me traveling to Jamaica. I believe that he is, but nowadays I'm going to make nothing frighten me because people are full of disappointments. But um, I believe that he's serious. But um, only thing, if anything changes me, is me is the reason, okay? Because Amari have a way about her when she sit down and think and do the arithmetic. She be like, I may go to Jamaica for? I can't go to Jamaica because of Christmas. I go to Jamaica because of Christmas. 
Harchi, how much you going to pay me? Yeah, that's it. Amari always fuck things up because it comes down to how much you're going to pay me. Because I need to do my therapy. My iron infusion is over $1,000 per infusion. You get, and I'm not talking about this one. I'm talking about my iron infusion. You know, and I have to spend to take care of my body. I got to get my injections every month. You're talking about another $1,500. You know, I, I got to pay for all these things. I got to pay for my beauty. So I, I hate the word beauty. I just want to be me. You know, so RT, <laughs> just know that at the end of the day, Amari's going to say, how much are you going to pay me? Mm, make it happen. Make some event. One thing you can rely on, I will sell out that fucking show. I'm good at that. I have loyal fans. You get what I'm saying? And you know I'm going to present myself. Just like Queenie. One thing with Queenie, when she's stepping out, she fucking represents. I was watching her performing right now, and um, trust me, I like to see Queen Lady Gangster perform, but I do not intend to perform, 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 perform everywhere. Because number one, I'm not strong, I am weak, and number, number two, I'm still sick. I, every little thing may have to sit down, that's why I sat down on Sting, I can't stand up for long because of the damages to my body and sting make it worse you know i i am sick physically so the fewer show i do is the better for me i personally you know could see myself doing the most four time four shows per year but for me the other day it was just one show per year sting and that's it but um i don't even think sting is a show it's a poppy show and um that's what's up. Yeah. They, they're trying to come. They're trying to look bougie and all. But they ain't shit. Last night they flopped like. Last week they flopped like fuck. But you know me and Queenie saved the day. They ain't shit. You should see the last part of the show. You know. It, it, was, it was garbage. Yeah. Yeah. I talk people around here when they know good. Yeah. But um. I, I, with RT, I, I'm, because of these bitches, I've gotten super tough. I, I gotta get some money zell to me. I, I, I would like RT to say, Mona, I want you come to Jamaica. I want you record an album for me. Something. And let's talk. I want you shoot the video. I want you to do two events. And let's talk. And I said, okay. Send me some money up front and you got me for a whole month. Something like that, you know? So once I make my point clear, because I intend to suffer no more. And you know, you know those motherfuckers that put their hand on me on Sting? You shall die. I swear. Because every man, I, you know, I came on the internet and I said, men that sleep with me, they eventually die. But the truth is, the ones who put their hands on me, they always end up dead. The man who kidnapped me, I went to Jamaica, right? And I was um, talking to this young girl, and she said to me, do you know so-and-so? And I said, yeah. And she says, dead. And that happens to be the man that kidnapped me. His name is Rat Rats and Bats. Um, he's dead. And um, then she said to me, do you know, do you remember White? And I said, yeah. When I escaped from that man after a year, the guy who helped me to escape kidnapped me too, dead. You understand? She started to name out all these people dead. And I say, wow, I'm truly anointed. Everyone that ever put their hands on me, dead. I went to Jamaica and when I landed in Jamaica, Colin just started to beat me up, beat me up. He was like, give me some pussy. And I was like, Come on, man, you can't talk to me like that. You understand, I'm your girlfriend, but that don't give you the right as I land, you know, with your dirty self. You ain't even bathed or nothing. You know, you just want to jump on top of me. All I ask for is a little respect. And he was like, hey, girl, you're not giving me some blood clot pussy and then him give me some blood clot lick. And I ain't saying nothing. By the time I come to America, go to Africa, I hear dead. 
Bob, oh my gosh, he beat me left, right, and center with his mouth, talked bad about me, scandalized me, and wished the worst for me, dead, you know? So God say to do his prophets no harm, and God say he will protect the orphans, the widows, single mothers, you guys are protected, but I know this much. My uncle beat me in Jamaica, and my uncle dead. So I know that those guys that hit me on Sting, I know that they're going to die. No doubt about it. Dead, 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 dead motherfuckers. You understand? Because I don't know if they, if they don't see the Egyptian in me yet, I don't know when they're going to see it. And pe people that will forever be blessed is Mike. You know, you sent my ticket. I love you, Mike. Thank you so much. You sent the money for me to leave Jamaica the other day. Thank you so much. And Archie, may you forever be blessed because right now you're giving me living waters. You're helping me to get my IV. And to the people who donated this morning, I got a total of um, $60, $70, The cost for my IV was only $225. In every state, it's different, you know. And so I'm going to take a little money from somewhere and figure out how to put it back. You get what I'm saying? I'm that type of person. If I have money for something, I don't like to use it for something else. And if I use it for something else, I have to sit and wonder and ponder how to put it back. Because I'm a grown-ass woman. I can't use what is for something for something else. You know, let, let's see how else I'm going to prepare to meet the king, RT. Okay, well, I'm going to um, shave my coochie. I called around and it's um, $30.00. And you can um, cash at me, you know, if you want to help me, dollar Venice Pung Chung. How you like that? Yeah, 30, 30 $35 to um, do my coochie because I always shave it with a razor. But y'all don't want me walking through airport and scratching my coochie. The truth is, it don't itch no more. But honestly, I always heard about the bikini. What do I call it? The bikini thing, and I want to do it. I want to. I want them to do the thing where you know what it's called. I honestly can't see the comments at all right now because there's not enough light. But um, I want to do the thing where they, where where a woman just take off all the air off my front. I want it bikini wax. You get me? So that's thirty dollars. And uh, what I got to do for you guys, mm, well, I got to dance for you, sing for you. What I got to do? I ain't got much talent, you know. And um, the next thing I got to do to prepare for Jamaica, um, what is it? I got to do my facial. Mm -hmm. The facial, how much do they say for the facial? Um, I don't remember. It's like $65 or so. I, I do my own facials, you know, but I got to be taking... I want to go under the steamer, the steam machine. I got to do my facial. Let me see what else I got to do to step out and go to Jamaica. Ain't much. That's pretty much it. <laughs> but, you know, I hope to I hope to definitely be in Jamaica. You guys, follow RT. All right? And be in touch with him. And RT know me. I'm very disgraceful. If he don't keep his promises, I'll tell you all about it. But I ain't got to do that, honestly. Because he's a gentleman. You know, you see how we treat me and Queenie. Yes. Good, better, best. Where Gregor? We treat me so bad. Mm-mm. Gregor. Gregor treat me good enough when me de far. And when me de near. Mm-mm. Wifey intimidated. Wifey said, Gregor, don't spend no money, Panar. Yes. Some people treat you good from a distance, but don't treat you good in person. You understand? Gregor treat me bad. Gregor should have bring me go and family owes. And motherfuckers, you should have cooked me some food. Don't God tell you how to treat strangers? If you know they treat me good, your wife wanna end up with a cancer where she about to be diagnosed with. Hallelujah. Masanga balingrio kobashe. Yes. Yes, me unblock you. Because I want you to see these things. And when they come true, you know. You treated me bad. And yet you, uh, you have not apologized. You understand? If you don't treat me bad, you have treated my body bad. Because there are more than one of us. You got Venice Feng Chung. 
and you got Amari. I am Amari. And you all shall answer for what you do to Venice Fung Chung. From the east to the west, from the north to the south, each and every one of you shall answer. Every day you shall answer in the worst way possible. If you do not make Amari DJ Mona Lisa the headliner of that show, and no matter what hospitals they bring you to, they will not be able to save you from your diabetes. Masanga balingrio kobashe, mesenge balingrio kobalia. Don't you know I'm a goddess? Don't you all read where the Bible say that the body is a temple of the true and living God? And God goes back and tell you, touch not his anointed and do his prophets no harm. All of you shall be buried. All of you shall be brought low. All of you shall be gone in the twinkling of an eye. You feel like you're so big, so bad and bold. You will see who has the power around here. You shall run to the rock and the rock cry out. No hiding place. How dare you put your hand on a woman that bring forth 13 kids. No one shall be sorry for your children. Most of them shall Shall meet in accidents. Masanga balingrio kobalenge belingrio kobale. You don't have to give our daughter any title. She already have the title. She came here with the power and the glory and the strength. Masanga balingrio kobalingrio. You think you have seen an earthquake in Jamaica? You haven't seen it yet. There shall be a rumbling in Cuba, and you all will wake up and realize that Amari is a goddess and bitches you shall bow masanga balingrio kobalingrio kobalingrio the only thing we'll send to jamaica is water because of the tears that you have caused our daughter to cry it shall be water 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 just remember every time the rain fall that you have caused our daughter to cry don't you know that you are privileged to even deal with a goddess masanga balingrio kobaleke belingrie sena malingrio Beware, we will take no taunting around here. For those who witness this day, shh, but don't forget.